Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning back in. Okay, to <clears throat> part two, okay, of the love reading. Um, we left off, I said, first of all, on August, right? So something's going to take place in August. <clears throat> and then we're going to give like the rundown of like within three years, right? If you allow this person to come into your energy, what's the future looking like with this person? <clears throat> Well, like I said, your person is going through awakening, okay? <clears throat> they know that they've done you wrong, okay? They know that they neglected you, living in their ego, living in the shadow side of themselves. You know, they really damaged the relationship. You know, they didn't never see things your way or what you wanted from the relationship but now they're back okay they're back they feel like <clears throat> they want to do things right but like i said healing is a process right so allowing this person back into your energy okay after they pop back up you know What's it looking like down the line? You know, would it be a good thing? Would it be a bad thing? We're going to tap into the energy of your person and to see what the future of this relationship would hold. <clears throat> your person is having sleepless nights, okay? They are not able to move forward. They are not able to create. They are not able to find balance. They are not able to have peace. They are not able to be 100% <clears throat> as happy as they would like to unless they have you in their energy. You know, they may have pictures of you in their phone. And, you know, when they look at you, that card says, choose love. They, they wish... You know, they're looking back on the past now and they really wish that they would have chose to love you, you know, to honor you and build with you. Okay. So let's tap into August. Okay. We're going to tap into what's going on in the month of August. <clears throat> so somebody made some changes. Somebody's made some changes or somebody is making some changes. Okay, um, somebody is working on themselves, okay? <clears throat> you know, like I said, your person is going through a state of awakening. So I feel like this is you and the energy, okay? You're someone who could have tattoos. Um, you can have a birthmark on the left side of your body, okay? Either on your arm or by your chest. Um, but, you know, in August of next year, um, you're going to be real good. <laughs> I will tell you that. You are going to have a lot of attachments. Okay, you see that? Sitting on your throne with your jewelry. Okay, boxes as if you just, you know, move to someplace new. But, I mean, you're in your power. You're on your throne. Okay, whoever you are. So, you're good. You know, but... You, in August, your person is like, your person is still in the sense like, I can't sleep without having you in my life, you know, staring at your pictures, you know, feeling like they're just at a loss, you know, they're even feeling like, you know, they wish you knew what it felt like to be in their shoes and at the same time, they wish they were in yours because your life is very abundant. Your life is taken off, okay? Um, your person may be seeking, like, psychic services to find out, like, what's next? What's going on? What's happening with you? Like, I'm serious. <laughs> like, they want to make this comeback. And, like, in August, they planning on this. They, like, and you just daydreaming about, like, what's next? You know, because your life is so great, you know? <laughs> you just, like, what's next? La, 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 la. 
what's next what do i do today you know just working on you just loving you right just manifesting the hell out of everything great for yourself that's what you're doing you're following the spark right you're following the light your path you're on the right track of things like this go around things are what they are supposed to be for you everything's happening that you always wanted to and you are just in like bliss in this energy you like you live in your life and your person is like so like torn down this person is torn down okay see but well, this is what happens when you don't choose love okay not only are they looking at pictures of you you know they could be going on dating sites trying to find women or 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 men that resemble you you know that remind them of you in some way to feel like you know if i can get comfortable enough with this person you know i can settle you know as long as i can feel like i have my person in some way but you know they just can't fight that feeling that's why they keep looking back at your pictures thinking about those good old days those good times i'm telling you <clears throat> and you've got somebody though that's in the background sneaky sneaky they just they just watching all of this and they are mad as hell i'm telling you somebody is like uh-uh uh-uh somebody's comparing themselves to you worried about what you have matching it to what they have right somebody's using their outer strength okay to try to push through something but it's not the outer strength it's the inner strength okay <clears throat> this person is mad because they've been rejected your person rejected them because they stuck on you and you over there look at you you're like yay <laughs> i did it <laughs> I'm serious. You over there good. Just happy as hell. Like in your solitude, reading, whatever it is you like to do, spending time by yourself, working on your home life, you know, raising your children. You good. This is what it looks like. You know, even if your person come back in your life and it goes nowhere, you're still going to be okay. You're still going to be happy. You're going to flourish. So no matter how you flip the cards, <clears throat> you're going to be able to indulge in all those things you never could. Okay? You, listen, you made it to the finish line. You did your work, right? Study, you did your work. And now somebody's studying you. They're like, yo, how did you pull that off? How did you... How did you do that? Right? Now they're trying to clean up. But now they're trying to clean up. I'm serious. Now they're trying to fix themselves. And look at you. At concerts. Living out loud. is living your life to the fullest. This is what it looks like within three years. Okay? With or without your person, you are going to live your life. Okay? I'm telling you. This is what I see. Okay? People... Are going to admire you you're going to be admired by the people that surround you in your community okay you're going to be like a star right the bigger picture so many things are being brought into the bigger picture you know you you yourself are realizing the point of everything that you've been through <clears throat> okay you have a lot of growth you had a lot of growth. That's why you can raise your glass, right? That's why you can raise your glass and have that toast because you've done your work, okay? You've done your work. But like I said, there's someone sneaky in your energy, though. There's someone sneaky in your energy. They're comparing themselves to you. Right? Because your person is so <clears throat> into you that, you know, they were jumping this person. It's like they don't even see this person. This person looking at you like, oh, um, I'm just as good. Oh, oh, I could do better. Oh, 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 what this person got that I don't have, you know. 
comparing their money to you, what they have, their life, their family. And you don't even know it. You just look at what you're doing. You're like, cheers. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> but that's that's what's going that's what happens when you have a divine path. You know what I mean? That's what happens when you reach your success and your greatness. There's always going to be people standing in the shadows that want to knock you down, want to see you fall, but that's, that's not the case here, right? People worried about your money. You see your money tree? Your money is falling from a tree. You see that? That means you got money to spare now, okay? <laughs> and somebody is like, I got just as much as she got. I got just as much as he got. If not more, I'm telling you, somebody is like, they they are being sneaky. They trying to think of a way to like mess you up, mess up your money or something. You know, figuring if they can mess you up, it'll take the focus. Your person won't focus on you. They'll focus on them. They'll say, oh, she all messed up. You know what I mean? I'm serious. I'm serious. Right. See, you went through all the ascension tension. You know, you kept pushing through no matter what. Like I said, you did your work. Enter to the outer. You did the work. And look. Awaken. You woke up now. You you woke. <laughs> okay? You woke now. So, ain't nothing stopping you. Ain't nothing holding you back. You know? <clears throat> Everything about you is balanced. Inner child. Everything about you is balanced now. You're unstoppable with this. And your person over there is still like, like I said, they, they're awakened. They're trying to manifest you. At the same time, you can manifest anything it is you want. Your person is still manifesting you. Being in your life. Seriously. You out being of service. You're out helping people. You know, whatever it is you do, it says be of service. It says community. So you're involved in your community in some way, shape, or form. And, you know, the people are for you, whoever you are. So within three years, I mean, this is your look from August of next year going forward. Okay, the next three years of your life look really, really good. <laughs> okay, like I said, you're going to flow. Okay, and your person is like... Still trying to build up enough nerve, <laughs> you know, to say sorry to come back. Okay. Your person is having tower moments while you're exploring. Okay. Okay, like I said, your person is on their journey. You know, they've been awakened, but, you know, at the same time, they're still doing the shadow work. And the shadow work means like they're still battling those inner demons. Um, what are those inner demons? Well, let's whip out the <laughs> inner demon deck. <laughs> it's not really called the inner demon deck, okay? But that's what I'm calling it, all right? I'm calling it the inner demon deck, okay? If you were to involve yourself with this person, what would your person be doing when you're not around? Because like I said, they've been awakened, but they're still... <clears throat> right. So your person could be holding back from coming back because they're having health issues. Okay, that could be a reason why they're afraid to come forward. Okay, so why your life is moving up, you know, your person is like, um, I've got something to tell you. Okay, it says let go. So, though so your person is trying to come back into your energy, there's still something that your person may have not fully let go of. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have guardian here. It says, a lost loved one watches over you. So, 
caution, right? It's telling you to be caution because remember before it had the wait card. It was telling you to wait in part one, right? Your person could be holding on to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or your person could be an air sign. You could be an air sign. But no. <clears throat> this is someone that your person can't let go of. So the person that your person can't let go of is an air sign. Let me clarify that. Right, they're taking a gamble here. Okay, so right, this is why Spirit is telling you to be careful. Okay, this person is missing you. They feel broken by not having you. But understand that this person is still keeping things from you. Okay, there's still someone that they feel like they're not ready to fully let go of. Okay, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius uh, energy here. They're taking a chance here. And the gamble is, if you find out, they could lose you forever here. But you're being warned to be cautious about this because, right, your person is being a narcissist, okay? Your person still has narcissistic ways, okay? Because they still have um, sexual chemistry with someone else from their past that they can't seem to let go of. And that's not something that you really want to hold on to, you know, though this person loves you. They're still attached to the past here in some way, shape, or form, right? They're still lying to you. They're still lying to you. Though they come, they want to have a conversation. They want to tell you that, um, everything that happened when you were apart. And, you know, they know you. they done you wrong. But what they're not telling you is, but, you know, this person is still over here in the background, though. You know. You know. Even if they're divorced. You know, they still mess around from time to time. You know, and I hate when this comes out in my reading, but there's a reason for that. There's a reason why your person feels like they just can't let go of this person. Okay? They they know they're in love with you, but if you're in love with the person you know you love and really want to be with, then what is the tie to you and this person from your past? Okay? Um... I think you need to dig a little deeper in your situation and find out what's really going on with you, okay? Because you're in love with someone else. Why are you so attached to this person that you divorced, right? Come on now, make it make sense. I feel like someone's under an illusion here, okay? <laughs> I mean, we saw what the card just said clearly, okay? See, it could not be the fact that your person doesn't want to let go of this person. You know, your person's person could have themselves tied to your person. Your person doesn't know this. Not yet. But, if, I mean, if you're tuning into this reading, <laughs> I'll help you figure it out. Spirit is telling you to open your heart. Caution. Take your time. Don't rush into this because there's something going on here that you can't see. Okay, but it's there. Okay, right, there's someone else. There's still someone else there. Take your time. Keep your heart open to new love, to someone else. Because this may not go the way you want it to. Be patient, right? Be patient. Don't rush into anything with this person. Do not. Spirit is telling you that, whoever you are. <clears throat> your person's still going through cycles. That card says cycles. Your person's still going through cycles. And you have to. You know, your person is going through healing, like I said. Um, your person could be at a distance from you. Your person could actually be going through challenges right now as we speak. Okay, there's things going on in your person's life. Your person could have somebody knocked up. And you don't even know that. So, I mean, allowing this person back. Your person could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so allowing your person back into your energy. <sighs> right, they go that earth sign card again, right? Allowing this person back into your energy. You're being warned to be cautious and patient here. Okay, because someone doesn't want to let your person go. Someone don't feel like they can afford to let your person go, I'm telling you. Spirit says, yes, I'm spot on with what I'm saying to whoever you are. 
Okay, this is not everybody's message, but this is some of your message. Your spirit is telling you to give it time. Okay, there's something going on in your person's energy. I'm telling you, their person is not their person. You or your person can have pets, but I feel like your person have pets. Okay, okay, you're going to be moving soon. Okay, you're going to be moving. Like I said, your life is going up. Okay. Your life is going up and your person is they in their awakening, but they still have cycles that they have to close. Okay. They can have a family with somebody else, a baby on the way with someone else. Okay. And then, like I said, at the same time, this person refuses to let your person go. And by all means, they're doing whatever it takes. Okay. To keep your person tied, bound, <laughs> and down with them, okay? I'm telling you. But like I told you, I mean, you're abundant. You know, you, you're, you're at a point of completion in your life. You, you have made it to your finish line. You know, Spirit says you're good to go. You can relax. You can let things flow in your life. But I'm telling you, you want to think twice about letting this person back into your energy. Because it's not so much of your person that you have to worry about. It's the person that's attached to your person. This person is refusing to let go. And they're holding on through spell work. Not all of them, but some of them. This is your story. Okay? You take it as it resonates. Okay? You feel like things is off. you like, yo, I broke up with this person. You know, I don't even love this person. Like, why am I in bed with this person? <laughs> you know, why is it like I can't get away from this person? I don't want this person, but I can't seem to let go of this person. You need to dig deeper into your situation. You know, call the psychic service. I'm serious. People don't want to believe how real this shit is, but it's real. It's people out there doing the most in the energy. I'm telling you. But that's the story here. That's what the next three years look like. It's, it looks like back and forth with this person your person is with. They, like, they're not going to let go. Your person has to fully release themselves from this person. Spiritual baths, whatever it is you have to do. But this is a spiritual thing going on here. Your person has to break the chains that their person, okay, this other person, has over them. They have to break those chains. And, you know, if you go to the right psychic, um, a healer, whoever... You know, you can't find the right help for your situation. Okay, because somebody has you tied. Like, even if you divorce them, you can never leave them. <laughs> um, that's bullshit because we all have free will. Okay, we're free. We're all free to do whatever it is we want to do. Okay, nobody has the right to tie anybody to anyone or anything. So... That's not everybody's story now. Come on now. Don't leave in the comments. This is bullshit. You know, I want to hear it. Okay. Everybody's story is different. You take it as it resonates, but that's what's going on here. Okay. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share. Until next time. Um, in the meantime, stay blessed. Stay positive. Stay safe. Okay. And protect your energy. All right, later.